had to make sure that we had the support of everyone as we went along. We we couldn't take control of the situation and say to our members, we know what's right for you. We had to take on board what they believed was right for them. And I, be, I totally believe in empowering people uh, by giving them the opportunity to be part of a democratic process and from that giving them empowerment and from that you gain commitment. And that's what happened in our case. Uh, the members were committed to each other and they were committed to each site um, across the board. We were all part of the same problem. So we had to collectively find the solutions. Now that brought, for example, people on the shop floor having a great idea, but not knowing how to uh, convert it into a product. So we went and took the idea to a design team. The design team looked at the concept and used their skills to design a way forward. So it was a collective uh, approach. Once the design was put together, went back to the person whose idea it was, say, this is what you were looking at, this is what you're thinking about, could it be improved? Uh, one example for me was I was an electrician in those days. I remember machines breaking down. I used to, when I started off, go up to a machine and, and work my way through trying to find, a, find the fault. So I'd be there for quite a while. And I learned quite quickly from an older electrician, if you've got a problem, go to the operator and say to the operator, what's the problem? And they can usually tell you this problem's happened on a number of occasions, and this is where you should look. And I believe that is true in, in everything that we do. We have to ask the questions of the people affected.